Hello, this is Stefano Merino, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to create new fields on BEAS tables. Okay, in order to work, to know a little bit more about uh, creating new fields, we can access, uh, we need to know a little more about um, creating projects and how the projects work here in BEAS. So in order to access the projects, we click on Extras menu and Add on Administration. And we here see the uh, the list of all the projects available. By default, we have that project standard. And to create new fields, we go here to database section and click on the details button. We're going to work with the BAS pairs table, and we're going to create a new test field. So we click on start test. And to make sure the, the field is created, we run this query, you know, the test field on the BAS pairs table. So here we have our new test field. It's also important to say that uh, some, some tables in BAS have uh, the possibility to work with some uh, auxiliary fields like this one. For example, UDF1, UDF2, UDF3, and UDF4. These are all fields available uh, for uh, to work with. We can use we, we could use these fields instead of of creating a new one. This this example and this demonstration is, is made for for those uh, customizations that need it uh, mandatory to create a new a new field. It's also important to say that um, if we work with projects here in Bas, um, uh, this 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 uh, window is uh, can show us. Uh, where all the projects are are located on our system. If we click on on the customer specification section, we can uh, click on open, and uh, here uh, is the folder that will contain all our customizations and and all of our, all of our files. Uh, also, if we create uh, this db.ini, will contain uh, the uh, the code that we added here details so all is centralized all code uh, for all customizations are centralized here and in, in this uh, folder okay uh, you can access via clicking on the button open okay we continue to to our tests and uh, the bias purse table is always uh, linked with the personal master data. Here we see that we have all the, the personal available and we need to create a, a new field, the field that we just just created in the database. We're going to create it here under linked to resource field. So uh, we click on control N the and uh, this uh, uh, debug window will appear. Here we can see uh, all variables available. If we click on local, it's important to realize that uh, beside all, all of the UDF fields on the database that we saw before, we can we have also this user fields, uh, this auxiliary, uh, auxiliary user fields that we can also use for. But th this will be used uh, especially for for um, for the new fields. Uh, we we cr just created. For example, we can use whichever of, of this. Um, also, uh, we can we can uh, see here in protocol uh, is the list of events that we might want to use. For example, if we cl uh, close this window and we open it again, we can see a list of events displayed. Is uh, we can see that uh, we we are most interested on, for example, this event post open. If we double click here, we can see all the variables available for this event, and uh, this is the event that we're gonna use uh, when we are creating our new field. We close this window, and uh, we take this aside for us for a moment. And if we click Control N U for this window, we can have this special window that 
allows us to develop code and and here we have all the, the variables that are leaf right now in this moment so um as you can see this window is called uh, bde personal edit and dot uh, psr and uh, for us to make customizations a new window will be created called the same name bde personal edit but a uh, different extension in this case it's dot src i'm just going to copy and paste uh, i have created um, uh, code for this customization uh, I'm just gonna go into explain a little bit what uh, what we do here um, we have as I said before the window event post open I just created two functions the first function here is create field we have uh, these methods that are explained on the uh, on the uh, Bears, uh, help page this is uh, the links will be available on the description. You can access those links. Uh, it will be a lot uh, further inf information about the, the capabilities of, of, of these methods. But these are the standard methods to create new fields uh, and new texts. We can create all sorts of stuff like checkboxes, drop boxes, and stuff. Uh, for this case, we're going to use user field number one as we said before and uh, we're gonna uh, uh, save it okay and uh, another event that we, another function that we want to create is update field this update field will be called uh, the post open and uh, we'll just we'll just need to create um, select a, a query and uh, insert the new test field into the into the new field created. Uh, take notice that this my field is called uh, my field here. This this is the field that we are creating. Okay, and um, if we call this event, all the values here in test field are going to get introduced here into the my field uh, field. We're matching against the purse ID, and if we find here, we can have the purse ID. Okay, here ha we have the purse ID, and this is what we're gonna use. Another event that we might wanna check out is the update event. This update event will will contain um, uh, the all of the uh, you know um, the test field that will that will be set up uh, when after we introduce values to 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 this uh, to this field. So we're gonna click OK and we'll see what happens. We open again. You know this new field is created. That we see here it's called field caption uh, and we can introduce here anything for example my text one and uh, if we save this let's let's run the debugger again and if we save this Okay, everything seems to be updated. So this event, we check here under the debug window, and this event is, is, is running. So when, when we add code on the update event, this code will be the one that is running. So what we do in this in this event specifically is all the the values contained in the my field uh, field will be up, will be updated in this new test field. Uh, to, to test this, we are gonna call again the query. I'm sorry, uh, execute again, and as we can see, my text one is created. 
We're going to test again, but using these UDF1, UDF2, UDF3, this, uh, using these fields, we don't, we don't need uh, to update and save and, and uh, all, all those functionalities because we're using these ones, uh, the update and the showing will be automatically done. So let's let's see how this works. Control and U to open this window, and we just simply instead of using this user field one, we use UDF four. For example, we can use UDF three or UDF two. In this case, we use UDF four, and uh, I don't need to to work with this updates and tests. So we're gonna save. Uh, okay, and uh, we close this window and open again. And uh, see, it's it's uh, there's nothing here, but we can insert um, my text with the F4 and save. Once the save, uh, the update procedure is done. We come here and we execute this query again, and we see UDF4 that has new text. As you can see, uh, if you if you use one of these uh, uh, previously created fields by Beas, there's no need to update and, and do it manually. They will they will be updated aut automatically. So um, uh, here we have. Um, also, I will be uh, updating this this code for everyone to to see and to work with. And uh, this will be in the description uh, in a link. Um, it's also important to, to realize that that here uh, at the uh, when we come here on the projects. If we if we click here on the standard, this is the standard project that we're currently working on, and we click on open. The system will open, and this field, this uh, this uh, file will be created, containing just exactly what we what we uh, what we developed before. So um, we can work uh, through uh, through a, a, a special. Uh, Editor, or we can just work directly on on Bass. So it's, it's whatever whatever you want to work with. That's is more easily to work for you. So well, I think that's it, and uh, uh, hope you uh, hope you find this useful, and we we'll see each other next time.